it's almost 4th of July and I'm very excited. Um, so one of my favorite, favorite ideas is transforming a cinder block like this right into a small garden. What better way to show you how to do it than by my, using my idea for a uh, patriotic tablescape. So the cinder blocks are really easy. They come from a home store and what I love about them, you guys know whenever we're gardening with our kids, it's all about small spaces. So the size of a cinder block is perfect for a kid's garden and you just plant right inside there. These literally cost me 99 cents each and oh, I'm gonna show you the magic. What's great about them is you can paint them. So here's what I started working on yesterday. And this is gonna be a center piece for our 4th of July barbecue. But what's great is I just used spray paint that I had in the garage. But if you have kids, you could have them just actually use a paint and brush and they can design any color. Obviously it's 4th of July. I'm using red, white, and blue. But if your kids wanted to, to turn this into a, a green turtle to put into the garden, they could paint this any way they want and you can accent anywhere in the garden and make a kid's garden. Uh, the trick to what I did here in getting the straight lines was using duct tape. So I just grabbed my duct tape and the reason I use duct tape rather than a painter's tape is it's really sticky. And you can see all of a sudden I'm going to have this really cool design with stripes to be my planter. Oh, you can see it's so sticky, it's stuck on there. And sorry, the kids were supposed to be here to help me today because these were their ideas too and they were very excited about gardening. But it's summer vacation and they're still upstairs asleep. So I figured I'd show you anyway. So this is going to be our centerpiece. And I've got two of them. If you get more, the great thing with cinder blocks is you could stack them and you could actually make almost like a pyramid of cinder blocks to make a raised garden for your kids also. But this is going to be in the center of our dining table. And all I'm going to do is kind of put them right in the middle. And then I'm gonna plant them out. One thing, if I was planting this actually on top of my garden dirt, I wouldn't have to do anything to the bottom. But because this is a tablescape, I actually took some of my plant pots that I usually recycle and take back to the nursery or some of us throw them away. And I just cut the top of them off because they actually fit perfectly right inside that cinder block. And then I can plant some of my different plants. Going to the garden center with the kids um, at 4th of July time is really fun because you can send them on another scavenger hunt. This time send them to find red flowers, white flowers. The really hard one is blue flowers. Blue doesn't grow as naturally as red and white so it's a real challenge and anything with a purple tint works great. All the garden cinders right now have the patriotic petunias. Next summer I can't wait because I'm actually growing these inside so I'm going to be able to grow my own perfectly just for 4th of July but that will be a whole other video. But the petunias work really nice for a tablescape but what I like was trying to find some others and Cameron, my daughter, actually found this little plant and she really liked it because it's called a sun sparkler. So isn't that perfect for planting in the middle of our 4th of July centerpiece? And all I'm going to do is actually plant this in. I actually think I want to put a little bit of height on this one. So I'm going to grab the salvia. And this is a blue salvia. I'm going to grab a little potting soil, just like we plant anything. We just add a little bit of soil down there. And then we're going to place this right in and get that planted. And then I'm going to take the sparkler and this plant, actually I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and this is kind of like a succulent so you can actually pull it in half gently because you don't want to disturb all the roots. I'm going to actually kind of place it in there so it's hanging over and then I'm going to do one more plant on this side. This is another blue flower that Cameron was able to find which is really fun. Look at that. Again, when you're planting with the kids, show them the roots. This is always, I know I do this all the time, but I absolutely love seeing the root system of plants. And this is where they're drinking and getting all their nutrients. I'm gonna throw some more soil in this side. And then we're gonna throw that in there. And it's all about having some different heights and some different colors. And then I'm gonna throw our sparkler in here. And you can see, you can be creative but we're having this totally festive little garden centerpiece going on. And over here, I'll probably put the petunias or the daisies. But it's a fun little garden idea. So I hope you got inspired. We're growing enthusiasm here. And I look forward to uh, seeing what you guys come up with for your cinder blocks. I'll see you next week.